Alrighty guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Welcome back. We are going uh, Las Vegas to Portland. Uh, I've got new trucks for this trip. Trying out the Mac. Um. Oh, it's got a uh, T680 high-rise sleeper. Get a bit closer so you can have a look at James's rod. Listen to mine. That sounds uh, interesante, as they would say. Yeah. Radio. I'll lead the way, buddy. If you can get around there. So you got a bit of a um, Mustang on the back there. Two of them. Just take them for ourselves. Yeah, it's alright. make this episode a bit, um, maybe a touch longer, to celebrate, uh, I don't know, what would we be celebrating, 90 subscribers? Oh yeah, well, yeah, something like that. It was 50, but now it's not even 100, and now I don't know what to do. We'll just dedicate this episode to our uh, subscribers. That'll work. Call it 90. Yeah, 90. It's a very weird number to do it for, but... Just appreciate it. Gee, what speed you take that at? Oh, about 45. Dare say you'll be a bit quicker than me today. So just um, let me do a bit of a tester. Just talk on the CB for a sec. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's just a bit of an echo, but that means we can hear other people. So that's good. There's another bloke here. Hey, mate. So for this episode we've joined a different server, we're in the US server which has a lot more people in it so we should run into a few more people on this journey, especially this journey. Yes and a few, fair few of them uh, happen to speak Spanish which is um, interesting. You might need to elaborate a bit. <laughs> Oh, um, I'm trying to teach myself Spanish. So it's always nice to converse with people. There you go, Speak. that sounds better. <laughs> yeah. Well, I could always just say I was talking to a boy from El Salvador, but that just sounds creepy, so I won't say that. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get arrested. Probably. So I guess we just want to thank you all for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying the content on this channel so far. Obviously you are, which is good. Thank you guys very much. Oh, 
also just downloaded <laughs> um, Medieval COVID Dynasty. Nah, Medieval Dynasty. <laughs> Not COVID. <laughs> Yeah, took one of those corners a bit too quick. <laughs> Had to um slow down a bit. I brushed the side of it, but I didn't do any damage. Hey, did you change your name? To what? Didn't you used to be V Herb? Now you're Herb. Oh, this is my Steam name. Okay. Wee, bit of lag there. Yeah. That's alright. Virgin River, which is at the James River. Had more blokes than you have. <laughs> and chicks, probably. Not at the same time. How do you know? I don't. I don't want to know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Catch it. I'm in the middle of eating dinner, so I don't. Um, just decided to um. <laughs> go his it's own Australian way. truck simulator now. Oh no! What is going on? <laughs> I thought I can skip the way bridge if I'm on this side of the road. I've broken the game. What have I done? What have you done? Um, there we go. I fixed it. It's all good, guys. Um, slight technical glitch there. We've got the wipers on. This is an absolute clusterfuck. I've pulled into the way bridge. I, um... Hit Alt Tab again. And then as I did that, it's also opened the tab for the game. Which is players near you. And then Tab wouldn't close it. And then I Alt Tabbed again. While, or while driving. So, that went well. Yeah, it doesn't sound too smart. Copy that. Ugh. I somehow didn't damage my truck when all that happened. <laughs> Alright, we'll pull in here, regroup a bit. Or, oh, are you coming out now? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I can bypass. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, well, I was on the other side of the road when I went past it, so I didn't get it, even get a notification for it. I'll let you in. Yeah, yeah. I did some damage to my trailer, six percent damage, but I got none to the truck. That's right. Yeah, I think so. It's quite tidy this truck. I've got a microwave and everything. Yeah, it's still a Mac though. <coughs> it still sits at eighty-one. Yeah, I enjoy uh, working on the Macs, but from what I've heard, they're not that good to drive. I'm not sure if that's different in like America or whatever, but. Yeah, no, the Australian ones aren't too good. Doesn't like the look of you. Oh, look at a bit of high beam. There we go, a bit of high beam action. Like daylight. Yeah. Right. Seventeenth gear. Yeah. Right. Is that suits for rent? Sweets, I suppose that would be. Good job. Well. Been a long day for me. I disagree. Do you? Yeah. I'm oh, part timer over here. I did full six and a half hours today. Wow. Actually, no, probably about seven. Oh. Do a bit of admin. Bit of admin stuff. Bit of ketamine. Run, I'm running the body whole thing at the moment. 
Yeah, we're going past Hurricane. Here I wonder am. if Bob Dylan. Wonder if Bob Dylan's out there. Rock you like a hurricane. No, I was thinking of that Bob Dylan song. No, I think that's called a hurricane. I think that's the school. Authorities came to blame. I'll slow down a bit. You're buddy way away. Yeah, good old Mac. Just so a my Mac can do. 81? Yeah, right. Oh, got a bit more kilo. I'm not a Mac, I'm a Peterbilt. <laughs> ah, Peterbilt. I'll sit at 45 for a bit. Yeah, right. Anyway, as I was saying, <coughs> I recently purchased, um, Medieval Dynasty as well for the channel. I'll do a let's play of that. Probably be without James because I don't think it's online. See how it is. Yeah. So let me know in the comments below if you're keen for that. I reckon I am. It looks no. pretty good. I don't think I will. Oh, you can play it. No, I don't think I will. And then See the it. city we're coming up to? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there's always one <laughs> every trip. <laughs> and this barrier, apparently. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking at the road. I can tell. Hey mate, how are you? Yeah, well. See you, dude, through the window. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Learn how to drive, you dopey bastard. Did you get that on the CB? Uh, ten for Benya. I called you a penis. Oh, I know I didn't. Bene. Do bene. Do bene. Your penis. Copy. Your penis. <laughs> Solid copy. <laughs> it's Bubsy <laughs> Mir Sheeran. You know what that, that means? What was that about Ed Sheeran, mate? No, no it's all, uh... Blank you with scissors in German. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, that's not good. What are you done now? Oh, an engine malfunction. I'm gonna pull off here and get a repair. Right Especially okay. at night time, my lights turn off. Yep. Where you get kicked. Oh, that's a good sounding Jake broke. Oh, if there was cars on this server, they'd all be dead. I'm taking these corners at like 40 mile an hour. Yeah. It's surprising because there's so many people in the game. Yeah. It's a big map. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Oop.
Yeah, I'm ready to go here. Yeah. Righto. The jackknife action. <laughs> Don't have many lights on your trailer, do you? No, that's all right. Barely Don't serious. need them. <clears throat> yeah, it's all right. So I can speed without being noticed by police. <laughs> and all the lights off. <laughs> right, let's see how fast we can take this highway merge. Righto. Challenge accepted. Two trailers on. 44 in that corner. Fuck. 41. Oh. <laughs> ah. Righto. 17th gear. 18th gear. Keep our eye on the road, shall we? <clears throat> At least one of them. Be good. Look my eye. <laughs> you get me? Get me, bro? If any of you guys somehow know where that is from, get out, count. Work ahead. Sure, I hope it does. Oh god, this is just like. There's not a whole. For one quad. a whole lot going on. Yeah. Our entire YouTube channel is just like vine quads. Do some work, you dog. <sighs> I was sort of thinking, um. Maybe during these recordings we could have like a little bit of a backstory chat, you know, like um, a shout out to Rendog. We talk about the world's issues. We could. I was thinking if we like maybe chose a topic and talked about it rather than just have us drive around and like not know exactly what to talk about if we had a topic or something. Yeah. That would be um, that would be good. We would appreciate if you guys wanted to do that. Yeah. But I'm just leaving you on the dust here. I'm slowly getting there. It just takes some time to get up. That's alright by me. Doing 75. A lot of <clears> weight <throat> behind it. Remember? Yeah. Well, it's, it's nearly double yours. Isn't it? it is double. Mine's only 20,000 pounds. Yeah, I've got 57 or something. Oh, you'll be right. A bit of a fork in the road here. Yeah, well, what do you want to uh, discuss for this one then? Well... I don't know, I was sort of thinking like, maybe, um... A bit of backstory, it'd sort of help, um... The viewers to discover like, who we are, a um, bit more about us both, or like, I don't know. Well, I know who I am. Do you know who you are? I know who I am, but they probably don't know who I am. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. I don't know, what do you want to talk about? Um, current UN race relations. Really? Is that really what you want to uh, talk about? <laughs> Fuck no. I'm in no way, shape or form qualified to comment on that. No. Being a very low middle class or upper low class Australian white male, I'm in no position to talk about that. kind of like a, we did sort of a narration, or like, um, a 
discussed things, talked about past or present things that we've done. Um, yeah, right. You know how Rendog drives around, like, shout out to Rendog, you're an amazing bloke. <laughs> drives around in the game and he talks about, like, how he got his first car and his license and how he crashed it and stuff like that. Just little stories like that. Might be fun yeah, to talk right. about. Instead of just driving. Yeah, alright, well, I guess we'll talk about our first cars then. Yeah. Um,. Oh, all cars, really, I guess. I, uh, started off with a Honda Civic sedan. was my parents' car, but, um, one of my parents is no, no longer able to drive, so I inherited that, um, just before I turned 17. In Australia, you need to be at least 17 before you can drive by yourself. Um... So yeah, that was my first car, uh, drove, drove it to school, um, maybe like a month, <laughs> first month of uh, grade 12, <laughs> um, I sold that car, I bought a 2003 Holden Commodore sedan, um, I had too much fun in that car. I don't know how I didn't get arrested. I don't know how I didn't get the car impounded. Um, I don't know how I didn't lose my license. I don't know. But, yeah. And then, so I drove that around for... Um, hang on. i got to think about this now. 20... 16, so I got that at probably February 2016, and I sold that maybe January 2019, so almost three years. Yeah, almost three years. Um, then I bought a uh, Nissan uh, Navara four-wheel drive which hasn't done that much for driving, if I'm honest. But, um... Yeah. There, yeah, and I still drive that at the moment, but I have a work vehicle. I've got a, um... Toyota van, which... is not very interesting. It's got a, fr it's got a fridge, though, which I keep beer in, so... that's helpful. Other than that, it's not very interesting. My list is a bit longer, I don't know about you. No. How many cars have you had? A lot. I started with a 2001 VX station wagon. Oh, yeah? Um, I'll slow down a bit, because, you know, motoring along. Um, had that for a year or so, like you said, drove it to school back, that's pretty much as far as it went. Um, then I didn't actually sell that, I loaned it, or gave it to my brother, my brother took it, and then I had a 1992 Mitsubishi Triton that I drove to work, that thing was, <laughs> that, that thing was amazing to be honest, I loved it. You can say what you want about it, oh, I love that car. Everyone else would call it you a know, like dirty, that dirty brown interior. Yeah. But that old 90s U interior. Yeah. yeah, but I loved it. it. It just went, it didn't stop. It had this um, tyre popped off the bead at the back. I used to drive to work with like 9 PSI in the bitch. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm still alive, to be honest. I've got some stories for this channel. You'll see why. Yeah. Um, hit a few roos in that thing. Um, might tell you more about that later, anyway. <coughs> then I got Actually, that. before... Hang on here. Speaking of kangaroos... So... Our non-Australian... Um... 
yeah, not Australian viewers. Um, I once drove from Sydney to Brisbane, which is about about a ten hour drive. It was, I think it's about nine hundred kilometers. So um, that times looked what. So sixteen hundred meters in a mile, so I uh, it's about seven hundred miles maybe, is that how that works? I'm just looking at the um, distance down the bottom there. It says eleven forty seven. We've done six eighty we've got six eighty one to go. Yeah, yeah, so it's probably about, probably about um Hey Siri. How many miles is nine hundred kilometers? So it's a bit, we'll call it we'll call it 600 miles all right that is 600 mile drive um, and from this drive it's along the coast of Australia um, you go through a few little towns along the way oh you know kind of big towns I guess but um, there there's a lot of bushland like you go through a lot of a lot of a lot of bushland and I drove for about nine of the ten hours through the night. So I drove overnight home to Brisbane. Oh, I've got an inspection here, mate. Yes, I Back it down. Yes. Um, yes, I drove for about, we'll call it nine hours. And I saw one kangaroo. And it was on the middle of this massive highway, nowhere near the bush where you'd expect to see it. It was in front of Dreamworld at the Gold Coast. Hang on, let me back up. No, oh, you're up. I'm good now. No. Our gross weight's 103,000 pounds now. Mine's probably, truck probably, mine's probably about six. Well, yeah, that's what gross means. Yeah, yeah. It's everything. Yeah, carry on. Yeah, so back to your car story. Oh, is that all you were saying? Done. Yeah. Righto. Yeah, so I drove for nine hours through night in Australia through hundreds of kilometres of bushland and I saw one kangaroo in one of the most populated cities in my state. Yeah. It was peculiar. I've, I've seen countless, mate, in half an hour. Yeah. There's another guy here. Yeah, but especially like through the night, which is while so, con pardon me, confused. Yeah. Um, yeah. From that Triton, um, it was a 3 litre V6. Yeah. It's just something about it, it was just plucky, I loved it. Car people yeah. would know that you get attached to cars. Well, yeah. like, um, those people on My Strange Addictions that like... No, I'm not gonna things to the exhaust pod. Oh, what about the intake? Nah, not that intake. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I'm just <clears> saying, um, I just uh, developed an attachment with it, and that thing, um, still hangs around. I know what you mean. The old town that I live in, and they just thrash it. It makes me really sad. But anyway. Who's got it now? Is it someone you know, or just um, random bloke? I do know them. But like not well. Oh, yeah. But I know them well enough to um like I have friends who know them well who know what they're doing with Yeah, them. yeah, yeah, right. But they tell me all the time what they're doing with the car and it just makes me really sad, but anyway, it's not I'll buy anymore. it back. I've thought about it. So many memories in that car. Yeah. Um <laughs> there to the 2006, this will appeal to James a bit more, 2006 VZ Commodore. For our American viewers, <clears throat> it's like a similar year model four-door Pontiac GTO, except with a V6 motor. Are they? Or are they um, called something yeah. else over there? Uh, uh, the Pontiac GTO is like... Um, it's the same, yeah, it's the okay. same shape as a Monaro. It's just four door. Um, same dashboard and everything. It was immaculate, but I didn't really love it. I wasn't yeah. really sad when that one went. Um, and I swapped that 
surprisingly for a 2003 turbo diesel Mazda Bravo. I don't know um, how I pulled that one off. Again, for our American listeners, it's a Ford um, Courier. Courier, I think. Ford Courier four-wheel drive. Yeah, they're exact same car. Yeah. Just the, I'm pretty sure they'd have the Mazda Bravo over there. Might Probably. Be called the Probably be called... I don't know. It'd be called something like the Nissan Navara that I have. It's called a Nissan Frontier yeah. in America. I think it's called a. Shit. I had it on my tongue. A fighter or something. You've had a lot That's of things fighter. on your tongue. That's true, yes. Speed um, up, mate. I'm sitting at 81. Come on. Got 78 with a lot more kilos in the back. Yeah. Um, Here, I'll slow down. Swapped that with my old man for a Toyota 80 series GXL. Yeah. And then I've got what I've got now, a 2005 BAXR8 Magnet, which I just love. Yeah. My favourite car by far. Except for that, I reckon I'd honestly have the Trident over it though. Oh, I'll see if he wants to swap then. <laughs> nah, nah, I'd keep that in the shed, I reckon. Yeah, what, this drives a shitty old partner in? Oh, yeah. It just never let me down, I think that's why I loved it, because when you're... When you're young All like that... All trucks right loaned. When you're young like that, you just expect things to go wrong. Oh, yeah, it's a kick in the teeth when your car breaks down. Yeah, and I was just like... I never had to spend a cent on it, like I'd service it and keep air in that tyre, like I never took it to get um, rebeated, never. Oh, another inspection. Oh, on cruise control, <laughs> not stop it. Yeah. Um. Get the buzzer on him as I go past. <laughs> get on the blower. But yeah, I loved that car. Yeah. Uh, it's so frustrating when your car breaks down. Like, I remember I was with my um, girlfriend at the time and two of our friends, and we were headed um, to a Taco Bell, actually. Um, Fancy. Unlike America, we don't have them on every street corner, so it was probably like a... 30 minute drive, it was like they'd only just released Taco Bell in Australia and we wanted to go try it out, because why not? And um, we got about halfway there and um, yeah, the battery in my car was just was done. Which car was it? It was, oh, no, it was my Commodore, yeah, it was just done. And then, so I got a new battery. At the time, I was working at. I think I was working at McDonald's, so I was only getting like, and I was studying, so I was only getting, you know, probably maybe three, four hundred dollars a week if I was lucky, which isn't a whole lot less than what I'm getting at the moment, but anyways. Um, and the week after that, um, the heater tap went. That's a common problem. Yeah. And I'd already replaced the alternator because that died. I'd replaced um, thermostat twice because I had to replace the radiator as well, second time around. So I did both. Um, yeah, no, it was a it was a hunk of shit, but I loved it. I loved it. Uh, I feel you. Yeah, but my Navara's never let me down. But I don't really drive it enough to. I did, let it. I did, um, what was it? About 500, if not more, kilometres a week in that thing for like three years straight. Oh, the Triton? Yeah. Yeah. But like, it never let me down. Like, I'd get low on oil and it developed this, um, miss, but I, like, learned how to drive with the miss. So it was 
Well, you didn't just think, oh, maybe new spark plugs or new dizzy, you just... No, we tried all that. But like... Yeah. Just the a little timing. Bit timing. Yeah. yeah. But like... I just wasn't worth enough to bother. Yeah. So I was just like, yeah. But it had the best gearbox in it. I don't know how to explain it, it just slipped in. Yeah, I know what you mean. Speaking of cars, sounds like some bloke in my neighbourhood's having a good night. <laughs> <laughs> some oh, yeah. good timing. Yeah, I've definitely had some crackers. Oh, here we are. Couple of blokes at the went past. Honk my horn at them, but they didn't, I didn't hear anything. Nah, last couple of blokes I have though. Yeah. So this is definitely a lot more interesting. We've got um, people in the map everywhere. And yeah, it'd be a lot better if there was traffic as well. Yeah, that's right. One day. A bit of a logistical nightmare if it's like that. That's when servers get really complicated. Yeah, I could imagine. You know, if you, if you look at a game like Grand Theft Auto. Oh, Dude's sounded good. It. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to go out and say good day, Eric. <laughs> See if she wants to swap for my ute. <laughs> I do have a story, actually, if we're back on topics. Yeah. I, um... Young and dumb at the time. I was like... And full of cum. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I was 19. I woke up for work, started... 6 o'clock, I woke up at about probably 5.20 for all yeah. of you that don't know, Mount Gambia is about a 30-40 minute drive, depends on how you drive I left the house at about 5.30 or so yeah. for some reason I thought I wasn't going to make it in time, I don't know it might have been a bit later than that 5.35 or something, 5.40 it wasn't enough time to get there anyway and I was like, oh I can't be late, you know, it's one of my first jobs, I'll um, risk it. So I thought I'd sit on about 170, 180 in my Commodore the whole way to Mount Gambia. Far and, um, out. I, that's why, why I'm saying I'm very surprised I'm still here. Yeah. At that age, like driving at that speed on a country road. Yeah. Can yeah, no, you did well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got into town as well at that time. I arrived at about 5.52 in Mount Gambia, so about 20 oh, minutes. Oh, yeah, mate, you had time for a coffee. Yeah, I know. And then I did 110 in a 50 zone to get there as well. Yeah. And I ended up walking in the door at 5.57. Text, you did well. Texted my boss that morning. I was like, I'm probably going to be late, mate. And he texted me back. He's like, oh, that's all right. And all this shit. Yeah. And he comes up to me later. He's like, oh, so you weren't late. I'm like, nah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Thrashed it. He's like, oh, I'd really prefer if you just were late. Because we're, like, um, responsible for you. Yeah. I was like, yeah, fair enough. Young and dumb. Yeah, that's why all those um all the mine sites have those fly out days. So you have to have at least I think it's 24 hours of no work before you can get on a plane to go home. Yeah. Or before you can drive home if you live nearby the site. Yeah. Because for example, like if you take um I don't know like Moranbar or Middlemount or something, blokes that knock off there after a 12 hour shift, you know, at seven o'clock at night or whatever and try and drive home to, you know, Townsville or Rocky or Mackay or something. And they're just, heaps of them were dying. Yeah. That was just really lucky, um, I think. Yeah. I've had a lot of close calls when I've had time. But I was going slower. Yeah. And I just, I don't know how I made it that morning. 
Oh, mate, I've almost been taken out by, like, B-doubles countless amounts of times and just I've, idiots on the road. I fell asleep in front of one. <laughs> yeah, it'll do it. I, um, started earlier. I was really messing me around. I think I was on, um, rotating shifts at the time. Yeah. And then I, um, that was the Monday morning, so I'd finished the Arvos on Friday. Friday, yeah, the Friday, yeah. And then the morning just screwed me over, so I was driving and I fell asleep. Swerved into the other lane, and there was a truck there. It flashed his what, light like bar. oncoming? Yeah. Jesus. Flashed his light bar at me, that's what woke me up. And I, um... Yeah, lucky. Was he, he would have been on the blower for sure. Yeah, yeah. It was close, yeah. it was really close, like... Oh, mate. Yeah, no, I've had, um... I think I've told you this story, but we'll tell it again. So, um, I was working on the south coast of New South Wales, uh, a town called Mowra, which is just outside of um, Batemans Bay. So, I'll, I'll put it in a little bit of um, context. Uh, the day previous... I was in Canberra, which is Australia's capital. It's about three hours from Sydney, and it's um, it's an inland town. So it's the capital city in the middle of the fucking bush. It's stupid, but anyways. Um, so I started probably at about 6 a.m. Friday morning, and I was working... I finished at about 5, um... Stopped for a couple of coffee breaks, maybe, but most of it was flat out. It was during summer, so it was a really hot day. I was tired, buggered, um, and this was during uh, like the 2019 2020 crazy bushfires that Australia had that were on the news all over the world. Um, so, the main highway that you can get to the south coast of New South Wales, which is where Bateman's Bay is, which is where I was staying that night, um, it was shut due to fire. Um, and then you can either go down through Bega and then out to the coast that way, or you can do what I had to do because I didn't have enough fuel to go back to Canberra. Canberra sorry. Um, I dr had to drive up to Goulburn and then I had to drive out to the coast through Goulburn. So I ended up going down the Illawarra, Illawarra Highway, um, down that way. I think I ended up going through like Nowra and all that sort of stuff. I can't remember the name of the highway that was shut. Might have been the King's Highway, might have been the Prince's Highway. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully someone that knows will comment and correct me, but we'll see. So this journey was probably meant to take about an hour and a half, two hours. So I left at... Um, right, we'll call it 5.30 so I'm like sweet be at my hotel by 5.30 on oh, no, 7.30 sorry nothing to worry about I'll be able to find a pub have a beer and then do some work Saturday morning and then hopefully try and look at starting to get home so after driving from I got like a certain amount down either the Prince's Highway or King's Highway, whatever it's called. And then there was police blocking the road, shitload of traffic, had to wait ages to speak to a cop, told me the highway's closed, gonna have to figure out a way to go. So I asked them, you know, sort of what the best way to go would be, they explained how much fuel I had, all that sort of stuff, they explained it. Because I had enough fuel, to, I would have needed fuel when I got to Batemans Bay, which is where I was staying that night. But I didn't have enough to go down and around, so I had to go back up, find fuel, and then go that way. Which um, ended up being about five hours, instead of the two hours that it was supposed to be, due to these fires. So I ended up checking into my hotel at about 11, 11.30 at night, instead of um, 7.30. Right. Um, yeah, and that was after working, it was like, I think I, I clicked in to like a, 
65 hour week that week already because there was a heap of work for me to do in Canberra and down in Sydney and stuff I was driving all over the place I was absolutely shattered um, but I'd sort of finished all of the work down there except for the work I had to do on the far south coast of New South Wales and at this point I was always I'd already been away for a month and a half call it two months maybe and I'd, I wanted to go home I wanted to go sleep in my own bed see my dog, catch up with my mates, I was, I was over it. So during that Friday that I was working, I was speaking to my boss and he's like, yep, some work's just come up on the far south coast, or south coast of New South Wales, um, we'll get you out there for Monday. You know, you can go stay down there the weekend and, or stay in Sydney the weekend and then travel down and do it. And I'm like, well, there's not much work after this, can I just get this done on the weekend and you know, get home? He goes, yeah, all right. That's what you want to do. Just be safe. So I booked in all the jobs and everything. Um, do a lot of that ourselves. Um, our company, we're a fairly small company with some pretty impressive contracts, I might add. But it's all right. So I was, um, booked in the jobs for Saturday, Saturday morning. So I did had to do three jobs. So I got checked in at eleven. Probably didn't fall asleep till. 1.30 in the morning I checked out the hotel by 7 next morning, Saturday morning um, yep, so I'm like, righto I'll do these three jobs finish at about 10, 10.30 and I had to drive from Batemans Bay which is about 3 hours south of Sydney um, to a place out oops, sorry bud, let's cut you off um to a place out in, I guess it's southwestern Sydney somewhere, out um, out near Camden, out out now. I won't say the actual place where I went, but yeah, out that way, Camden. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's all I can think of that area. Um, I had to collect some stuff from there. And then, because this ute was that I was driving, it wasn't my ute, it was uh, one of the guys that was previously working down in Sydney, he had quit, and then I'd gone over to take over for a bit, um, but because I was coming home, I had to clear out all of the um, stock that belonged to New South Wales, that was assigned for vehicles and stuff in New South Wales. Um, you know, fair enough. So I had to drive probably another 45 minutes to an hour into um, my to one of my co-workers' houses because we all work out of vehicles. We don't really have a um, like a workshop or anything. So we're mobile. So I went and dropped off all this stuff. Um, by the time I'm leaving his place, you know, we you know clear everything out that we need to clear out. Have a bit of a chat. Um, Weybridge coming up, but Yep. Uh, oh, I got a bypass. It's good. Even though I skipped the last one myself, that's all right. Um, yeah. So, ended up going. It was probably about four thirty. By the time I was leaving Sydney, I was probably maybe twenty minutes from Sydney Airport, so that area of Sydney, and I live in. Brisbane. Mind you, this is after being stuffed around after like 65 hour a week, a few hours sleep. Um, yeah, get on the Jake over here, bud. It's a pretty steep hill. Right up. Actually, it might not be too bad. It's just some sharp bends. Yeah, it's not too bad. Bends are just sharp. Yeah, so I left Sydney at. 4.30 in the afternoon and I got back at about 3.30 in the morning so I you know, did 11 hours of driving after driving all day, I think it was close to about 1500 kilometres of driving I did one day and um, yeah, especially driving when I was about halfway through that drive back to Brisbane because I was in the middle of nowhere and I was just tired 
I stopped at a truck stop and had a coffee and then I think I slept for 30 minutes or something just because I was absolutely buggered so yeah, driving tired I definitely don't recommend it nope what a long story that was good oh I need new lungs yeah have a drink mate you're right. I don't have anything alcoholic <laughs> bloody alcoholic ah oh, I've been good actually I haven't had a drink I don't know. Whatever day we were filming in the morning, and I had a what the last of my iced tea. Is that Sunday? Uh, it wouldn't have been this Sunday because I was hungover. No, oh, the sat it was the Saturday yeah, that Saturday morning. Was Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the last time I had a drink. You on the J? I was. Yeah. You hear it? Yeah. Can you hear mine? Hang on. Go for it. I am. Uh, ah, it's not that loud. Oh, that's just slowing me right the fuck down. I was gonna say yeah, I can hear it, but I was hitting the um bumps on the side of the road. Yeah. yeah. Probably that noise I was hearing then. Oh, we're about 160 miles from Portland. A long time, drive. Time flies. We'll make it an extra long episode for you guys, just to thank you for your support. It's been great. Um, I'm not sure. What have you got in mind? Dunno. Hmm. Maybe just more about... I feel like... ...when we were younger yeah. and shit. That was good, good times. Yeah. We used to just stay up all night on school holidays and just play Minecraft I'm until the sun came every up. yeah those were the yeah. days yeah I think we met on Grand Theft Auto 4 online oh we sure did I remember um riding those double T's in the airport yeah they were good and yeah and those um those big ramp things they had yeah the airport that was a good game though, maybe we should um have a look at that. I think I've got it for PC somewhere. Yeah. I'd probably buy the digital edition though. It'd probably run a bit better I think. Instead yeah. of running off a disc. Yeah, I would too. I don't have a disc drive, so No. Yeah. How long have we known each other oh. now? Ages. Um Probably since late, very late, hang on, yeah probably very late 2011 or very early 2012. Yeah. Was, I think it was on the, the like the, the Christmas summer holidays between 2011 and 2012. That, that'd be my guess anyways, yeah, long time. Just watch as a bloke. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna merge, so you might catch him. 
Can you come down? No, oh. he's right. He's going straight, I think. No. Oh no, he's coming down here. Yeah, we're we'll getting the left lane slow down a bit. Or oh, right lane actually. Message. Got a copy, mate. Ten four, this four, rubber dope. <laughs> Coming around you, bud. Do it, do it. Close the door on me. Oh, my do? mirror was like millimeters from your trailer. Yeah, I know. I think we're in Portland now. I'm not far at all from my destination, 65 miles. Yeah, me too. Going to the same place. Hopefully. Maybe. How, how oh, that, or it's just around the corner. 60. 62. 60. 60 59. there. Yeah, oh, well, bridge. not next. Yeah. Yeah, same place then, surely. Oh, that, or it's like right next door or something. Looks like a pretty sharp turn, bud. Oh, it's a sweeping turn, all not call it sharp. Yeah. True, we got two lanes to deal with, so. Yeah. Just trying to think of something else to talk about. Like, what did we used to do? We used to, like. Stayed up all night. What else did we Talked play? a bit of shit. Oh, we played a fair bit of COD, I think. Yeah, Black Ops. It's a good game. I'm I'm excited for that Cold War game. I reckon we should. I think channel I think I'll buy that. Put it up on the channel if we can run it. Yeah. Should be able to. I don't think we'll struggle too much, but we'll yeah, mine's yeah for, for what I paid. I'm, I mean, I got a good deal on my computer, but it's. Very last gen, or gen before last, but it still runs most AAA titles quite well. I mean, I'd say that it runs GTA 5 well, but GTA 5 for PC has been out for fucking ever now. Yeah. Uh, have you got to stop at this way bridge, or are you going to bypass? I've got bypass. Uh, we'll, we'll say that I did as well, but <laughs> I'm not stopping. Um, yeah, it's been remastered and stuff, so it wouldn't be too bad to run. Like, it's... Oh, still... do you mean Black Ops? No, no, um, GTA. It's like, um, it's been remastered, so it should be pretty difficult to run still. Yeah. You'd think, because it's not like the 360 version. Hmm. I'd say they've updated a few things on it. Um, oh yeah? What lane do you want, bud? What's that? Then what lane do you want? Oh, sorry mate. I thought you were ages behind me. Oop, I saw that. Oop. Oop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, saw that. Have you what seen did you that? clip my trailer? It reminded me of that scene in um, Smokey and the Bandit. Have you seen that? No. Uh. Oh. Dude drops past, like an Asian dude drops past and clicks his door and goes, Banzai! And just drives <laughs> off. That was you. How much, da <laughs> How much damage did I do? That's only like 3%. That's alright. But like, you shut the door pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> you have to rewatch the video. Look how hardcore it uh, was for 3% damage. Maybe. Mate, we've driven all the way, all the way through the night now. The sun's come up. Yeah, my dude's like not even remotely tired. Yeah, just like the legs on my guy's bed on that little icon are um oh. um blue. Dude back here is gaining on us. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully he comes this way. Um, I feel like that Chuck Allen Floyd song. I was about to say, I thought you were going to say um the legs on your bloke. Be Sore. I was like, my guy doesn't have any legs. Midnight shining. Is he following? Steep us? grade up ahead, slower down, I'm making no time. I reckon he's coming. Gotta keep it rolling. Oh, no, he's 
Smash them windshield wipers slapping at a tempo. Ruben with the song on left radio. Yeah, man. Righto. Sweet. Same destination. Just hit oh, the I got on the, got on the Jake a little bit too early. I was a bit excited for this hill. <laughs> Allow for the trailers a bit. Nah, I'll just run her. Hope for the best. Nah. Where are you going? Are you going to Tid Tidbit or whatever it's called? Uh. Can't are you going it. further up? Nah. Um, oh, you going to that first one, are you? Nah, the one after it. Yeah, one after it. I'm going to too. Oh, uh, it's good. Copy, just got some cars in for delivery. Hopefully you guys are on the old CB channel here. Staples just passing through the dispatch yard. Copy, Roger. Uh, truck and dog on approach, load of 10 mil. <laughs> the most, that's the most common um, thing you hear at the radios on um, in either a quarry or a concrete plant. It's just all um just ten millimeter aggregate. Well, I might park this one. I'll tell you mine. Your sizes are out. That's mine. That's all I hear all day. Yeah. What do I want this thing? Or oh. wake up staples. Where do they want it? Should we park this thing? My oh, mods is here because it's a double. Have you had a collision? What collision? Oh, one with a curb, mate. Mm, uh, it was more of a fence. Oh, I parked it really well, it's just in the wrong bay. This bloke's just hanging out watching us park. Hey, mate. He's probably recording it for his his own YouTube channel. He's just laughing his head off. That's what I'll be doing anyways. I mean, I've done alright. Oh. Yeah, we'll see how I go. Probably not too well. Oh, e excellent. Hundred and one grand for that. How much? Hundred and one. I, I thought you said four hundred and one. I was about to say what? I don't even buddy back a semi. It'd be spilling with like a dog trailer or something. Which actually I might buy next. Like a B double or a triple grainer. I'd like to do a um logging episode for my hometown. <laughs> oh yeah, we can do that then. There was one um, accident here the other day at the roundabout. Someone had to slam their brakes on one of the trucks. All the um, logs slid off. That's not like, what's that movie? Final Destination. F yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, this is... Oh here we go, I reckon I'm on the ticket here. Might hop in His new ultra... Record. There we go, I've got it. Oh, I've got it. There. What are you doing, mate? Pick the pallet up. He's just sitting there with his hands in his lap. Douchebag. Alright, oh. Reasonable. <laughs> Reasonable. <laughs> I got 70 grams of that, that's alright. It's a long trip. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. I reckon we'll win the episode there. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this 50 or 90 or. I don't know, hopefully 7 million subscriber uh, special. Yeah, we just appreciate just, uh, your support and we hope you're enjoying the content because we. Yeah. I enjoy making it. Yeah, me too. And if there's anything you guys want us to touch base on, any questions you have about. I don't know, we're Australian, so if you guys wonder. I don't know, if we have drop bears or. If 
they're flammable. Um, ew, are crocodiles real? Yes, they are. They're fucking horrifying. They're dinosaurs, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, just let us know. Uh, we're happy to answer any questions you guys have got. Um, so, love your feedback. We'd love to know what you guys want to see, what we can do to make uh, this channel better for you. Exactly right. Alright, cheers for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.